Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about a cool little thing that I've been thinking of and that is using cryptocurrencies in video games. Now of course the title might may talk about Gran Turismo and things like that, but hear me out. Let's think about it. So in the real world we have real currency and then we have the this new type of currency which is a digital currency called Bitcoin, Eurythrum and many others. Doggy coin is another one. And of course, what are these really used for? What can they be used for? Because their their currencies change in value so much and so fast that there's not going to be a ton of businesses willing to really take the risk of taking it in. Now, as a business, I've taken it in before, and of course, Tesla is starting to take in Bitcoin. And what is it really going to be a real world currency? I actually don't think so. I think there will be a use for it in the real world, but I personally think that it's going to be the gaming world that uses things like Eurythrum, Doggy Coin, and many others. So Bitcoin's just way too expensive to put in video games. That's not probably ever going to happen. That'll be a real world currency. But the cheaper currencies, the, the ones that tend to get printed all the time, stuff like Doggy Coin or Dogecoin or whatever you want to call it, those are cheaper currencies that you could actually use in a video game. So if, if there was a video game, maybe Gran Turismo 7, 8 or 9 in the future was to implement this, we could then have a real currency in the game if we were to run online races and win, we could win real currency and how that would be funded would be for all the racers to put in, let's say, a thousand Doge, Doge coins, which would currently, I think it's worth around two cents or something like that per coin. That would be a $20 buy-in for that race. And then the winner of that race maybe gets 75% of that pot and then the rest of the racers get the next 10% of that pot and then the last 15% goes to the owner of the video game which would be PlayStation, Sony, um, whoever owns whatever game. So let's say it's Gran Turismo, it would be the creators of Gran Turismo who get that money. And if they could run thousands of races per day, they are making an absolute killing in the game. This is why I personally think that cryptocurrencies will possibly be the future currency of in-game transactions. And then that way, they have a legitimate actual uh, currency in the game. It's not just your real-world money being put into the game. It's, a real, it's an actual real-world currency e anyways. And then they can cash it out, you can cash it out. You can put 20 bucks into a race and win 80 and cash it out and say, hey, I got my 80 bucks, that's my day, and I don't need to work. I just made 60 bucks. And if you're working in an economy that has a $12 per hour, uh, $12 per hour essential charge, like paying you $12 an hour and you just made 60, you essentially just worked five hours worth of work in like maybe an hour or less. And just think about that, right? Now you may be saying, well, why is that worth $12 an hour? Well, it's because of tax, right? So if you are working a job, you have to pay tax. In Canada, if you're making minimum wage, you're generally around 20%. And then on top of that, if you're now wor if you're now running your own business, being a race car driver in a video game, it's not the video game paying you to be for them, it's you being essentially a contract worker trying to make money off of that race. Which now means that you can write things off. You can write off your travel time to go to the store to buy the console and the game. You can write off the game, you can write off that, probably write off that $20 entry fee. You could probably, you, you would be able to write off the PlayStation or Xbox or whatever you're using. So now, you can, you've got all these write-offs, it's sometimes and probably would be able to offset the cost of the incoming money. So if you made 60 bucks, that's great. If you did that three times a day, you're now, obviously that might be a bit hard, but if you did that three times a day, 
you're now making 180 bucks a day doing three races as long as you win. So this is what I think is going to happen in the future. I think there's going to be uh, a real struggle uh, when it comes to businesses hiring minimum wage employees in the future because of new technologies like this coming out. And I'm going to actually talk about this further someday on my investment channel as well. But this is what I think is going to be coming to the future of Gran Turismo is different types of cryptocurrencies, whether it be Dogecoin. Dogecoin would be kind of cool because, of course, Dodge, but Dogecoin, Dogecoin, whatever you want to call it, that would kind of be a kind of cool mixture. But have cryptocurrencies in the game. I've already spoken in a previous video about having NFTs for the cars and for the graphics and things like that in the game. This could be an actual legitimate economy online and if that happens, I want to be the first one to say that's going to happen and that's why I'm making these videos. I hope you enjoy the rest of the race. If you have any comments, leave your comments below. I'll see you guys again next time.